Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to talk about magical rep ranges. I continue to get hammered, hammered, hammered with questions about rep ranges, and I'm going to hammer this point home. They really don't matter. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, so last friday's live was a really good example of this i'm just getting hammered with questions about rep ranges five by five six by six four by eight whatever everybody is like when it comes to rep ranges there's this really weird obsession with trying to find a rep range that is perfect what do you think about this rep range what do you think about that rep range what do you think about this rep range nothing Nothing matters when it comes to rep ranges. Let that sink in. There's no magical rep ranges. There's, n what do I think about it? It's two numbers with a with a with an X between, two by two X eight, three X ten, five X five. It doesn't matter. You guys need to move past this obsession with what do you think of this rep range? It doesn't matter. The rep range does not matter. The progression scheme matters. As long as the rep range is reasonable and you're not generally training above 85% of your one rep max, the rep range is fine. So every question that is, what do you think about this rep range? Point number one, are you training above 85 and a half, 85%? No? Then okay, good. Number two, when you multiply the first number by the second number, one by eight, is it a little bit light on the volume side? Yeah, you probably need more reps. Is it three by eight? That sounds reasonable. That's 24 reps. That sounds reasonable. When you look at this, when you look at the rep range equation, the only thing that matters is number one, are you trained above 85%? If so, you really don't need to be trained that high with that high of a percentage get your strength up and then once you reach the late intermediate stages if you want to mess around with low rep sets that's fine but for muscle building you never really need to train above 85 percent of your one rep max which is about six rep sets at the most so when somebody says six to twelve rep sets uh, you know, like a guy like Paul Carter on Instagram, it's basically no heavier than 85%, and I agree. So don't train heavier than 85% and get a reasonable amount of reps per set. And the only thing that matters after that point is your progression approach. That's the only thing that matters. Sticking to the progression approach, not just having a progression approach, not just writing down a progression approach. Look, the reality is it's going to take you five to 10 years to put on quality mass. Uh, if you do everything right out of the gate and you're lucky, it might only take you three to four years. But still, during that time, you're going to mess around with so many different set and rep schemes, either directly or indirectly, that everything will kind of average out the same. And if you're trying to split hairs and micromanage what set and rep keep I'm going to do today? And is it okay? What do you think of this? It's fucking fine. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You guys need to understand this. The set and rep schemes don't matter. Just don't make them extreme. You need to stick with a reasonable amount of volume for starters. Maybe conventional three sets of 6 by 12 or whatever. I'm not laying out a plan. I'm laying out general guidelines. And then you need to learn to work them hard, have a progression scheme and follow that progression scheme. And from those starting points, a reasonable amount of set volume, a reasonable rep range, and a reasonable progression approach, if you follow them over a period of time, you're gonna get a wide variety of reps per set on any given day, right? You might hit seven with 205 today and then eight the night and then all the numbers will average out. We get, we get how all the math works, right? We get how it works. But from that starting point, from that starting point, as you hit the gym and you put in your time, you're gonna to learn to evolve your training. Oh, I, I might do another set of seated cable rows here. 
I have a, you know, I feel like I can, or this exercise is too taxing, I'm gonna drop that to two sets or change this rep range. I talk a lot about evolving your programming based on needs, and this is one thing you guys really need to understand. That happens in the pit. That happens when you're doing the work. So the question, what do you think of this rep range? What do you think of this rep range? Is it above 85%? Then you're probably training too heavy. Are you getting enough rep volume, set and rep volume? Are you working basically within six to 12 reps for your compounds? You can go a little bit higher for your isolations or machines if you want. But generally for me, compounds are six to 12 and you know other exercises might be eight to 12. Uh, very rarely do I go above that range. And that's not a rule, that's a general guideline. But if you're, if you're not above 85% of your max and you're working in those rep ranges and you have a progression approach, you're going to build muscle. Stop worrying about is seven a good rep range? Is eight a good rep range? Is three by eight? Is four by seven? Is this good? Is that good? It doesn't really matter. Follow the plan and you will be fine. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.